What's up guys, what's going on? Hope y'all are doing well today. We are out at Renaissance, a very historic course in Charlotte that isn't as popular as it used to be, um, but was actually in the 2012 world. Um, and we are playing the gold layout. So this is the layout they would have played back then, unless um, maybe there have been some changes or whatever, but we are playing Renaissance Gold, world championship level course, at least at that time. Um, it's nuts, man. I'm excited to play. I used to play here a whole bunch back when I first moved up here in 2011. I moved up here in 2011 and actually lived, like, so I'm at hole one and I lived um, over there in some apartments. Um, so I was super close to all of it, but didn't come out for the worlds or anything like that. I wasn't, I played disc golf then, um, but I wasn't too big in like the pro scene and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into it. Hole one here, um, par four, 523 feet. Just gonna try and get up here in the open and uh, get the round started. All right, so normally on this hole, y'all can see this tree coming over and the hill going up. I would throw a sidearm. Um, but I've been telling you all about this blister that I have, so I am still going to continue throwing and everything, but um, if I can achieve the same shot backhand, I'll probably do that. So we're gonna take the Sapphire here and just try and get it up there, give it a little bit of Anheuser um, and just get out in the open so that we can have a good approach. Get around that rock. Uh, a little short of the rock, should just have a sidearm flex uh, with the justice from up there. So, as for usual guys, I just wanna thank y'all for hanging out and watching my videos. Um, I know there is a lot of tour coverage right now. Uh, a lot of pros that you guys wanna watch and learn from. Um, so you're watching Jomez, you're watching the disc golf guy, you're watching Gatekeeper, like you're watching all these other channels for pro coverage. Um, so I just wanna thank y'all for still watching my videos um, and, and everything while we go through the season and all that kind of stuff. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah, approaching this shot here, should have a pretty good approach up to the basket and hopefully start it for the birdie. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a, a sidearm shot here with the uh, Emacs crew. No! And so I would say that this is definitely one of the holes that you need to try and birdie because it isn't too difficult. Hitting this tree obviously is going to keep us from doing that, but um, we'll still give it a, a run. Okay. All right, that'll be a par. So hole two here is a pretty iconic hole at Renaissance. Um, I'm just gonna throw the world here off the tee, uh, try and rip it out and give it a good hyzer and have it go around the corner. Where are you going? The wind out there is crazy right now. Oh, that's gonna be a tough approach from there. All right, so kind of a tough hole here. You can see I've got this uh, tower in my way as well as these trees. Um, so I might try and keep it low and go right over here, um, probably with my new fellas. I think I'm actually going to throw the captain here. Come right, come right, come right, come right. Man! This is a tough lie. So many of you guys may remember this hole. You've seen it um, in past videos. It's pretty iconic with the uh, the basket up there on that hill. We're going to be throwing down at it, which is not going to be fun. Uh. 
right, that'll be a par. All right, so normally you would backhand this hole just through this gap, but I've been feeling pretty good throwing the sag sidearm here, um, or throwing the sag lately. So we're gonna try and hit this gap, have it stand up and go left uh, far down the, the fairway. down all right that should give us a good approach for birdie all right so this standout backhand i don't think i can get a good enough angle to hit that basket right there um because of these low-hanging branches so i'm actually going to try and throw the stag just lightly through here knowing that it'll flip up a little bit um and hopefully that'll give us a better look at birdie again no matter what we should we should be fine with par I have this fence right here too. Okay, so that's at least a look at Birdie. Oh my gosh, really? Man, that was perfect. All right, that'll just be par. Man, that looked good. Honestly, the first, the first hole in this hole, you kind of got to get birdies on if you want to have any chance at, at being negative on the course, at least for me. All right, so another par four here. Um, and I'm going to throw my felon, the straight one, and really try and like get it down the fairway before it dives right. I don't mind it diving right because that does give us a look at the basket, but there is OB over there as well, so I don't want to go too far. Where are you going? Okay. That might be okay. All right, so I have to throw a hammer through here and hope that it comes back left to at least give us a look at the uh, at the goal. Very left. Uh, okay, I mean, from this lie, that's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna throw the EMAC here and just try and stay on that hill side on the left and give myself a putt. Sit. Nice. Cool. Oh, be another par. As you guys can see, like, it's all par fours at first, and really only the first par four, and um, the, I guess the second one if you can get a big drive. I don't know. I don't think, maybe the first one is really the only, should be the only guaranteed birdie, at least for someone like me. playing par golf right now all right so this hole is super tight um you want to try and get up to where those stairs are if you want any chance at really having an easy approach shot so i'm gonna tell the captain here um hope that it stands up just a little bit and then settles down on the right side of the fairway you also have this uh big hill in front of you that kind of can get in your head as you're as you're releasing no Please break through somehow. Okay, so um, I don't see any out of bounds on the thing, so that might that that terrible mistake might actually end up being good. All right, so obviously this is not the best throw, but we do kind of have a look out to the basket at least. Um, so. I'm going to throw my molt felon up here and see if I can get it to stick, give us a look at, at a birdie. <laughs> okay, we've got a look. I've got a putt from here, guys. I think 
could be wrong. If this is a three, I'm gonna be real sad. Because that was a great recovery there. <clears throat> yeah, so that one was a four. So <clears throat> even though our drive wasn't good, our scramble through the bushes was good, and then our putt. So one down now onto a pretty intense hole here. Um, yeah, just, just look at this. So the whole right side pretty much is out of bounds down into a ravine. There's this tree in the middle that if you're throwing a sidearm, which I will be doing, you want to miss to the left and then have it flex back. Um, and then the basket is right on the edge of um, a mini like 15 foot cliff or so. Hit something, please. Okay. Good. That was that was a really bad release. All right, so I'm just gonna throw the ruby here um, and just have it lay down by the basket. Not going for this at all. Okay. It's still a little bit of a putt, but we'll be fine. So it looks like I did it again. I guess while I was out recording, I pressed record and double recorded on the phone. You can see the chain's moving. Um, I ended up making a really good putt here, so I'm kind of bummed that I wasn't able to show it to you guys. Um, but we're still one down after this whole uh, moving on. All right, so the goal on this hole is to throw a sidearm at this tree right here, that white one right in the middle, and have it be on the left side of it and then end up down to the right where you can approach the basket that's up on the right side. Par four, 465 feet. Throwing the pellet here. Yes! Oh, that's sick. Come on. All right, so I landed a little bit off to the side here. This isn't the best lie. Um, but I'm going to just take my Emac Tooth and the little Anheuser flick up there to the basket. Yep, that should be in the circle. Nice. Two down now, guys. Let's go. All right, so hole eight is a par three, 323 feet. And um, it's down in the woods. So we wanna, I'm gonna take my Emac Cruise here, throw it out somewhat straight. Actually, I'm gonna go wide hyzer on it um, and just try and get it down towards the basket to give us a look at a birdie. We have a wind coming from right to left, so I'm not gonna give it too much hyzer. That might be deep and not really give us a look. All right, guys, so this is a super tight look here. Past the basket is, past the basket is a big drop that you don't really want to go down. And I barely have a line through these two trees, but I kind of want to make it. That was a really good bid from here. What could be able to get par? Alright, here's the par. Alright, so this hole is pretty interesting. Um, you gotta do a big booming hyzer. It's only 285, but the disc will still probably travel 350 just based off of the angle that you have to take to get into the green. Um, at least the angle I take. So I'm throwing the Raider here and we're gonna try and just rip it up there. could be parked that could be parked isn't it kind of funny how i feel like a lot of disc golfers say the same thing where you throw a good shot and you're like oh that's definitely parked and then you get up to it and you're like wait i'm 40 feet <laughs> short what are you talking about um I, I just recognize that i say that a lot wow that's really pretty over there 
I'll show you all in a second, but um, I do think that I do think that we're in a really good spot. But check this out. Look at all those flowers back there in the woods. That's pretty. Man, I really want to be able to take a knee, but there's just thorns all over the place. Dang it. That's probably my, well, I want to say that's probably my best drive on this hole, but obviously not because I've gotten birdies before. Dang it. All right, let me check the score. All right, so front nine complete. We're two down right now, which I'm actually pretty happy with. A couple of holes, like I wish I'd made that putt, obviously, to be three down. Wish I hadn't hit that tree on hole one, which would have been four down. <laughs> but you can always wish when you're playing disc golf. Um, but we're two down, which is a great start. The back nine is a beast. So if I get any birdies back there, I'll be happy. Um, but I will also try and figure out the, the rating, the score rating of this round um, as well if I can, uh, just by looking back at past tournaments once I finish. So thank you for watching the front nine. See you guys at the back.